Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, the blindness to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers that are doing the work. Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, this new virus called the uh, monkeypox virus and what I believe that they're going to they're going to use a virus not I'm not saying the monkeypox virus but uh they're going to use a virus like this I believe to lock down these cities just like they used the the first one the first virus uh, you should know what it is the C and the one uh they're going to use a a a a, a pestilence or or a plague or a virus to declare uh, martial law Okay, and this is all a concerted effort to uh, come after the children of Israel, mainly the elect. Okay, but anyway, before I start, um, I'm going to start off in uh, Second Ezra's. And uh, Second Ezra's, uh, those of you who aren't familiar with the book Apocrypha, it's a part of the Bible that was removed, I believe, back in the 16th century called the Apocrypha, which means sent away hidden. Uh, they removed that part of the Bible uh, because it shows you who the wicked is. Okay, and and, uh, and a lot of other things as well. But uh, I'm reading from the Apocrypha, uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 1. We'll start at chapter 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt, and Syria. And these are buzzwords for America. Okay, in the Bible and in the Apocrypha, you're not going to see the word America you're going to see, you know, Egypt, Babylon, Babylon the Great, things of that nature. Okay, verse 2. Grip, grip yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Okay. A sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back. A fire is sent among you and who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you. Okay. And what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it has begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord, listen, sendeth the plagues. Okay, the Lord is sending these plagues. Okay, the Most High is doing this, but he's using the so-called white man, Edomites, as his you know, sword, as his tool to use. Uh, the Lord has servants. And he used Esau as a hireling, as a servant, to do his 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 bidding. To read that again. You gotta understand that the Lord is doing this. <laughs> the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And these plagues go anywhere is is you know, these viruses, uh they're these all the way up to the missiles. Okay. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from this wrath, and who is he that may quench it? You see, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power for strong is, is his right hand that's Yahweh Shai that bendeth the bow his arrows that he shoot are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world those are the nuclear missiles okay arrows cannot be arrows you can't shoot arrows from across the ends of the world listen to this verse 14 behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth Fires kindled and shall not be put out till they consume the foundations of the earth. Like an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward, even so the plagues that should be sent upon the earth should not return again. Okay, let me skip down here to 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? Okay, these plagues, again, missiles, they, they consist of the missiles, they consist of uh, these different diseases. Okay, 16. The beginning of sorrows. The great mornings, the beginning of famine. Okay, if you know that we got a baby food shortage, they 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 
just flew in a bunch of baby food from Germany. But that, but I was listening to the news report. It said uh, when they when they brought it, it just got here. It's only for a certain, like a, they're not sending it to the stores. They're sending it to these hospitals to be tested first. What does that tell you right there? They had to test this stuff because I wouldn't trust it. Okay, because there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a what is called um the, the the Russians are actually using the food as a weapon. Okay. They're withholding food. Uh, I just read an article about it. Uh, they're, uh, that's why they went into Ukraine. One of the reasons why they went into Ukraine. One of the reasons they went into Ukraine was to get those bio labs and shut them down because they was going to be using those bio labs, those weapons, uh, those uh, biological weapons against the Russians. So they took them down. Having those bio labs out there in the Ukraine was like having nuclear missiles right, right there on the, on the border. Okay. So they took those those bio labs down. Then also they took hold. They wanted to get hold of the uh, the grain, the wheat. They uh, Ukraine is one of the largest suppliers of wheat in the world, so they need that food supply out there because the war is about to happen. So they are using <coughs> food as a weapon, <coughs> withholding food. That's why you want to see. You know, listen, the the famine is that you know that baby food stuff is just the beginning, bro. You know, they're attacking the children. It's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, increase. Okay, the beginning of sorrows, great mornings. Okay, see the, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Okay, it's going to, uh, listen, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Okay, people ain't going to be happy, bro. The beginning of famine and great death. Great death. Note the word great. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. Okay. What shall I do when these evils come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation, okay, tribulation means troubling times, and anguish are sent, listen, as scourges for amendment, punishment. Okay? See, this is what this, uh, let me see, let me keep going, because this is a, Second Ezra 16 is a pretty fire chapter here. But all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. So, when I heard this report, man, and I was driven to my feet. Like, I didn't hesitate to, 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 to get to take hold of this this doctrine and repent okay i hearken to what these what uh let me see let me get a piece up real quick here so it's, uh let's see here it's uh in habakkuk here in chapter uh let's see hold on one second yeah habakkuk three and verse Two, O Lord, I have heard thy speech. Okay, this this word, this doctrine. When I heard this word, this doctrine, I was afraid. Okay, I believed it because I was programmed to believe this. Habakkuk three and two. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. See, O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath. Remember mercy. All right, so. I, I I I took heed when I heard this, man. Okay, but two thirds of Israel aren't going to take this. This is this is about Israel, bro. Okay, in re in regards to repentance and coming back, that's when I uh, one of the things that I speak on a, a lot is about is about repentance, repent, coming back, turning back from your wickedness. Okay, so pretty much the elect is just about sealed, but there's still going to be a remainder. Of the multitude of, of the one third multitude, uh, I believe the one hundred and forty-four thousand are, are sealed. But there, there's still an elect, okay, a great multitude that still haven't been activated yet. And this word activates you, okay. That's why I always say, if you hear this doctrine, you hear this word, a lot of people are going to re start to repent now, now that they're seeing these what what the brothers have been talking about for 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 years in regards to famine and wars and rumors. They start to see these things, ha things happen. Now, that, now they're gonna turn and start to repent. That's what you know you're supposed to do. <laughs> but there's gonna be a two third that's not gonna do that. Uh, Zechariah seven and eleven. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. See that and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Now they really is being blocked from 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 receiving this by by the Most High. The Lord has blocked them uh, two thirds from. Um, Receiving this this word. Now let's get back into Second Ezra real quick. Let's see. 
uh, verse 21, second Ezra 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they should think themselves to be in good case. So, yeah, right now you can still go and, you know, you can go, you can get a, you know, go, go, go get a, a you know, go to Subway sandwiches and get you a sandwich. Go to the restaurant, Italian place, get you a meal. You know what I'm saying? You can go into stores for the most part. The, you know, the, the, the stores are still pretty well stocked. But that's what this is saying here. Behold, the victual should be so good, cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Uh, but I know that when I go into these stores and these restaurants, it's not going to always be this way. I, I, I know this. It, it looks good now. It looks okay now in these stores. Some of these stores are very, are very well stocked. But I know it's not going to be this way. Okay, so hold on, let me finish up. Uh, so this is what this is saying. They should think themselves to be in good case, and even the, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, okay, and great confusion. Great confusion. See, people are going to be confused. you got to get together, man. you got to repent. For many of them, verse 22, that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. See that? And the other that escape the, the hunger shall escape the sword destroyer okay and the dead should be cast out as dung and there should be no man to comfort them so there's gonna be so many dead bodies it's gonna be a lot of death and, destru and destruction um uh, coming uh second is uh five and verse one nevertheless as be as coming the tokens behold the days shall come okay he's talking about the when it says nevertheless let me read that again nevertheless as coming the tokens behold the days shall come those 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 tokens are the prophecies that which the will upon the earth should be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Okay, this this truth is going to be hidden. Okay, so uh, let's see. So now, um, like I said, I believe that this whole um, listen this these these viruses are, are are created. We should all know that. We should all know that by now. Dr. Frauchi and all these other people, uh, Bill Snakes, Bill Gates of hell. He's a computer man. What the hell is he doing talking about, you know, uh, talking about a, a, a virus? You know, he bought up all the food, all the farmland. You, see, you, you understand what I'm saying? Um, all hell's about to break loose. Okay, so these, these, a virus was created by a virus. Esau, he's a virus. And he created a virus. He creates the virus and he creates a uh, a, a cure for it which is that that you know that thing that goes yarn all right this monkey pox thing okay the if you read the news reports they have a picture of, of a so-called black person with with this disease okay and they say they came from a monkey okay you see what they see where they see where you see, see where they're headed here with this so they're trying to 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 demonize or, 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 or make us the face of this monkey pox just like they made us the face of the of the C19 thing. You, you follow what I'm saying? So, what that's going to what that's going to do is that it's, they're going to make it to where oh, if these people got this stuff, you know, we all got it. They're going to come in and try to kill us. Everybody that's that that looks like a so-called black person. You, you see what I'm saying? They're going to use this as a way to justify killing us. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying they're going to use the monkeypox. They may use a different virus, okay? But um, this is this is what I believe. Now, this, they're saying that this thing came from a, a monkey. <laughs> it's like AIDS, right? AIDS came from a monkey. You do remember. Now, now this monkeypox thing, hold on, let me get it. I pull it up real quick. It's similar to, um, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it called? Herpes. Herpes. The same thing they did when they put smallpox in the blankets of the natives. It's the same shit. They did that shit. Esau put the, put put smallpox into the blankets of the Native Americans, so-called Native Americans. Esau put that smallpox uh, monkey pox on that monkey. He experimented on them. just like they experimented on uh, the, on the brothers in, in Tuskegee. Put syphilis in the brothers. Like experimented. This is what they do. They doing this, and then people are stupid enough to going. And they all they already got. Uh, I think that they ordered. I read a news report. They ordered twelve million, um, you know, Maxine Waters, already. America, United States. 
12 million of them already they ordered the shit oh they all of a sudden they got the got got the, got the, the solution to the problem now you see this is all being engineered it's so obvious man so so what they're saying is that this you know they lie and say monkey pox was here in, in this in this uh article it says monkey pox was first discovered in 1958 when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research kept for research yeah they they gave it to them see that's what happened they so they had these monkeys in the in a in in research and were researching on them and they gave them this disease you see and it goes into how do you catch it and all this stuff and, and they say it's not fatal and they're saying that don't worry about it but now you know there's a movie called 12 monkeys back in the day here so let's see here let me uh i'm gonna bring up just a few news articles let's see this is Clinton, uh, no, not Clinton. Uh, <laughs> old tripper slow Jim Crow saying that monkey kept pox cases something to be concerned about. U.S. President Joe Biden. Now, now, just back in late last year, twenty twenty one, old old Bill Gates to hell. He said that um, this, the, he mentioned it. He mentioned this 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 virus and how they want to. This is going to be the one. That's going to be used to bring this whole thing into 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 play here. Their new world order. See, so they're going to use this virus to uh, bring about help bring about their new world order here. Like I said earlier, what I believe what, what they want to do is they want to lock down these cities, just like they did with the with the first pandemic. They they they, they shut everything down. That was like a trial run, but now they're going to use another virus. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they're gonna use the monkeypox one. I don't know, but they're gonna use this. This is all about Israel, about the elect. Listen, man, there's chariots showing up. They, they're showing up on the NASA live uh, stream. You can see these chariots coming, man. Uh, there, there's so many sightings uh, of these chariots that they can't hide it anymore. So they got to come out and speak uh, about these things. They had a big meeting about it last week. I was watching it. It was a, a big, it was like a two hour uh, presentation that they had. Well, not presentation, but they was talking about these chariots, uh, the UAPs. The Lord is coming. The Lord is here. He's about to get the green light, man. We're very close. We're very near. Our salvation is almost here. So they're going to do is though, is that Esau is going to try to surround us, lock the cities down and come in like a flood. Okay. Just like they did in 70 AD. So let me, uh, and they're gonna use this this virus, this monkeypox, or some other virus to do it. Okay, so let me see here. Let me just read uh, Luke nineteen and forty one. Uh, let me see. I mean, let me, let me go down to forty three. Uh, For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, okay, and come past thee and keep thee in on every side. Or so like can come past thee round and keep thee in, thee in on every side. And that's talking about the martial law. It's come to talk about these locking down these cities. This is this was this right here is talking about seventy A.D. But you know, there's nothing new under the sun. They're gonna be Esau uses the same tactics that he's always used. All right, and then verse forty four says, and they shall lay thee even to the ground. Okay, they're gonna kill be killing us on sight. <laughs> they're gonna be killing us when they see us. They're gonna be killing us, bro. Because they're gonna think we have some kind of monkeypox on our ass, something that they created and gave to us. Okay, and, lay, and shall lay thee even to the ground, and thy children with thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. But they're gonna try to justify themselves coming in. That that precept uh, was seventy A.D., but like I said, that can apply to now. They're gonna use the same tactics. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 The thing that has been It is that which shall be And that which is done Is that which shall be done And there is no new thing under the sun Okay see There's nothing new man These, these viruses and all this stuff Is nothing new Like I said Back in Native Americans man They gave them smallpox bro In their blanket <laughs> Let's see For, uh, Luke Let's say Luke Uh uh, see, like I said, the elect is going to be 
preserve. Okay, and that's why I always say, yo, you gotta put on this word, you gotta put on this this armor, this 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 this, this word, this this Bible is gonna provide his protection around you. Okay, this we're very close, man. Luke twenty one and seventeen, and ye should be hated of all men for my name's sake, but shit there should no not an hair of your head perish. In your in your patience possess ye your souls, and listen, and when you see you, and when ye shall see Jerusalem, to mark a people, compassed with armies, then now that the desolation thereof is nigh. So uh, when it so talks about Jerusalem, it really talks about a people. Okay. Let's see here. And like I said, this is what they plan on doing. I believe through the spirit that they're going to use these these viruses and whatnot and, and make, de make us the, the face of it. And then so they can justify coming in and killing us, you know, closing in on our neighborhoods. Uh, send, you know, they've done it before where they send in tanks, military personnel into the into the neighborhoods. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let me start in. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's lucky. Psalm 17. And let's see here. Start at uh, verse 8. Start at verse 7. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that saveth by the right hand them which put their trust in thee and those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who come past me about. See that? They are closed in their own fat. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey. And as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. O rise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From men which are thy hand, O Lord. From men of the world which have their portion in this life. And whose belly thou fillest. With thy hid treasure, treasure, they are full of children, and they leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I wake with thy likeness. So this is, um, you know, the scriptures are a comforting, uh, you know, to to read these scriptures provides comfort. You know what I mean. I believe in these scriptures. I love it. I mean, it's like a, a, um, what is it? Like I was programmed to believe. Now let me just go real quick. One last precept. Like I said, I didn't want to make this too long. I just want to kind of bring that out. Um. Once again, they 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 are going to be you locking these places down. This is a supply shortage, and like I said, they're going to. Uh, I believe they're going to use that to uh, come in and, and kill us. Uh, Psalms back in Second Ezra 16 and started verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude. That great multitude are these 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 armies that they plan on sending into into our neighborhoods. These so-called white people. For behold, the burning wrath. See that the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. See the Israelites. And they shall take you away, certain of you, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. That's those, that, that ch chapter 9, what you see right now, that right there, what you see on the screen. That, that that's one of the idols. Okay, that chapter, the, uh, Revelation 13, and also the, the vacation waters, uh, or the vaccination waters, <laughs> is one of their idols. And they can, so, they shall take away certain of you, and feed you being idle, and things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them, see, shall be had, had in derision. So if you take that, you're done. And in reproach, and trodden on the foot. For there shall be in every place, and in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those who fear the Lord. See, they're coming after, the, they, they're coming after the, those of us who have this testimony. Listen to this, verse 71. They should be like madmen, sparing none. See, they're going to come and kill them. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, they're gonna be like they're gonna be like like the, gonna, they, these these they, these Edomites gonna be frothing uh, at the mouth. 
killing us. They want to kill us. It's in their, this is the Lord putting the spirit on them to do this. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. They, they should be known who, then, this, this, 73, shall they be known who are my tr chosen. And they should be tried as gold in the fire. So, the, so we have to, so, so we have to, we have to go through this. We have to be, um, you know, go through this furnace of affliction. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's see here. Let's see, let's see, verse seventy-four. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Hey, the Lord's going to deliver us, man. Be not, be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord. Power. Let not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay. So I just wanted to touch on that, man, and uh, kind of bring that out. And uh, we're just going to give all thanks and praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, Shalom.